He's been hinting at a run for months. Today, Arizona Congressman Ruben Gallego made it official, announcing his candidacy for the U.S. Senate in 2024. As ABC 15 Mark Phillips reports, it sets up a potential challenge with Senator Kirsten Sinema, who left the Democratic Party to become an independent. I'm sorry that politicians have let you down. Congressman Ruben Gallego's announcement video was released Monday on Twitter. A Harvard graduate a Marine veteran who served in Iraq. Gallego says he's the product of the American dream, committed to fighting for the working class, something that Congressman says Senator Sinema doesn't do anymore. You know, she stopped talking to her constituents. She stopped fighting, more importantly, for her constituents. And she was more likely fighting for the people that already have power. While Senator Sinema is not running in the Democratic primary, there's no question. Political consultant Chuck Coughlin says she'll be the center of attention for Gallego. And his primary is going to be about beating up her. Cinema's defense of the filibuster, voting against raising the federal minimum wage, and campaign contributions she received from Big Pharma and Wall Street. All signs, Gallego says, the senator has abandoned Arizona. Voters care about who is going to fight for them, who understands what I am uh, going, who understands what I'm going through, and who do I trust. In a general election, Coughlin believes Cinema's work on infrastructure, water security, and the Respect for Marriage Act will help with the coalition of Republicans, Democrats, and independent voters she'll need to win. Gallego's focus will be on those Arizonans who feel left behind. I think this is going to be a pretty brutal period of time be, uh, between Rubin and the senator. Um, I anticipate a very, very critical race early on. Senator Sinema is on record saying she's not focused on 2024 right now. Meanwhile, no Republican has announced yet. So whether it's a MAGA or more mainstream candidate that emerges from a Republican primary remains to be seen. It only adds to the national curiosity of what will be one of the nation's most high-profile Senate races. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.